Recently, we've received a bunch of requests from people who want to give us money. Very nice individuals telling us... Nice work, mate. Love what you're doing, but please, just... Look, you need a haircut. Take the money. Please take the money. No, I don't. They're wet! And I've always, very gratefully, declined as I've been able to carve out a humble existence from... Telling it like it is. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that Stereo Sonic sucks? Yay! Because of that, thank you very much, but I really don't want to accept donations. However, the rest of my team, who is severely underpaid, as I'm essentially running an Australian Nike at this point, constantly holidaying in great exotic locations and playing tennis all week, momentarily interrupted from my busy schedule to yell, Indeed, me tamo nue dawae. Stop calling the videos shoes. You gave us the footage yesterday. I've already had 40 kids because of you. I can do that, my girlfriend's agent. Unfortunately for me, and maybe for your wallet, I let it slip that there are people so nice out there that they actually want to give us money for this. And as a result, completely against my will, this is the Help me, for the love of God, help me. I'm in the middle of a mutiny and I now know what it's like to be Nicholas II. It is terrifying charity appeal. And no pressure, it's totally cool. In that specific sentence, however, if you'll allow me to dress up like one of those British backpack women that try to get you to sign up to Oxfam at the train station. I know it seems like they don't cost much, but these videos aren't cheap to produce, so any help that you can spare would be great. Hey, here's an even better idea. How about you have a bath? As we should properly be paying our editors, researchers, social media organisers, producers, and Robbie. I would very much not like to go to Thailand and chase my backup dream of being a fat German sex. Tourist. All of them absolutely deserve far more than they're getting paid, which in most instances is zero dollars for huge amounts of their time volunteered. In many cases, they've turned down jobs at places like... Oh, oh. It was just a really messy first half for the Knights. It's like they're not even playing the game. Finally, someone who isn't afraid to speak their mind. They chose to stick with producing satire, a cornerstone of any functioning democracy since democracy began, which is why the plutocracy that runs this country had it either silenced or sanitized. And when I say that, I'm not even regurgitating from academics who prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Linked in the description, I'm speaking from personal experience because in every interaction I've ever had with the mainstream media, I've been told what I can and can't talk about. And what's extremely disturbing about that is I'm not some revolutionary Cuban. I'm as center left as they come. I support mainstream political parliamentary parties that have formed government in the past and even my extreme views such as don't defund our public schools due to a completely made up budget emergency that you use to justify continuing the massive tax cuts that you give to your political donors have been deemed in appearances I've made in the mainstream media too extreme. That's why on mainstream television their hard hitting issues are discussing whether or not Dawn Fraser who you haven't thought about for a decade is a racist or not. Always seeming to never have enough time to discuss the obvious chokehold that Murdoch and Reinhardt have on our democracy. That's why real satire is important. Because in the US, people who watch satirical programs like Colbert's and Stewart's, which again, admittedly, are sanitized but have far more leeway than they do here. The viewers of those two programs were the most informed people about their political system in the country, bar no other media outlet. And guess who was at the bottom? Fox News. And seeing as pretty much all of our news essentially is Fox News, no wonder we get idiot comments all the time like, Speaking of gum ashes, thanks for the video, you uninformed moron. Good counter argument to 10 minutes of sourced facts when his video content is this. Modern day Da Vinci. Joey does butt scratching, ha <laughs> And obviously we're gonna do the whole. Donate a hundred dollars and I'll personally like you informing me of that on Facebook. And here's the big goals. Starting with absolutely the biggest, if we make 20 million dollars in a single month, We'll make the Yilmaz movie, in which the plot is he goes with joins ISIS, all pretty much have a shot of him shooting up infidels yelling, No mercy for stooges! But remember, that's only if we reach our big target of $20 million in a single month. And if you thought that was it, here's a free bonus. I will personally go as the naked clown to my local corner store, meaning that I can never, ever go back to it again. I'll always have to shove a Coles and I'll ask him, How much for that gum there? 
three dollars. Oh no, I forgot my wallet. And for anyone donating over a thousand dollars a month, which no one will, and that's why I'm incredibly confident in promising this, that I will tell anyone that does a secret about Yilmaz that will blow your mind. If it doesn't at least physically cause brain hemorrhaging, you will get your money back guaranteed. That's how good this secret is. So essentially I'm asking you for a thousand bucks to make your brain bleed. Worthiest cause for your money. So in conclusion, huge props to me as I found a way to accept your money and not feel guilty about it, which is that not a dime of it will go to me personally. For now, I might keep my money later, but get, look, get, give me your money. It is all going to go to my incredibly hardworking team of producers, editors, researchers, social media organizers that have been working for nothing for a year that we just couldn't produce this content without. Nah, I did it all in the past. It was just way slower and much worse quality. So we're not going back to that. We're going to start accepting donations because we need to. And if we don't get enough from that, which we probably won't, we're also going to start accepting advertising offers because in the words of my comedic aspiration, Krusty the Clown, aka Herschel Kristofsky. It ain't comedy that's in my blood. It's selling out. So in conclusion, Eight man dollar plate! Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.